Hey, how's it? This is the foundation doing my final thoughts of the Cowboys uh, 49ers game. How about them Cowboys? Eh? Um, you know, one thing I'm going to say is that um, huge shout out to all the Cowboys fans that went out to Levi Stadium. Um, you know, it was it was loud. Um, it was so loud that uh, a couple of times I got confused. Um, so, you know, I'll get that in a little bit. But, you know, it shows that this rivalry does matter, you know. Um, it may not be for the highest stakes, but it is bragging rights, you know. Um, you know, even the players at times was, you know, getting a little chippy in here and there. And, you know, like, you know, especially the one with um, Carlos Hyde, you know, doing the Zeke, uh, Zeke thing and all that. Might be on Ohio State thing, too, though. <laughs> Um, I was gonna make this video yesterday. Um, sorry, you know, I, I kind of late on this one. Um, got a lot of things going on, so I was a little bit, you know, I, I had my day off, but that's how much time it took up uh, took up my day. Um, but anyway, you know, if you saw my last video, I, I I was talking about that this is a great test, you know, for for these two young kids, you know, um, you know, you know, I, I I'm not putting it all on their shoulders. But it is, it is kind of because they're starting to become a, a face in this franchise, you know. Not the face of the franchise, but they're putting their faces on the franchise, you know. Um, you know, for Dak, you know, again, we're missing so many players, you know. Um, you know, this week we get back um, D-Law. You know, I hope D-Law comes back. We need you, big guy. Um, you know, boost up our defense. To boost up our defensive line, get some, maybe add, uh, hopefully he adds more pressure, uh, more sacks and stuff like that. Um, and uh, and then, you know, we lost Romo, so, you know, Dak has been filling in wonderfully. Um, each week has been another test that he's been, that, that he's been able to answer, you know. Um, then we lose, you know, last week we lose, uh, we lose, Skandrick and and Tyron Smith, uh, so that was a huge, especially Tyron Smith, and then we and on top of that last week we lose um, we lose Lyle Collins during the game. The Lyle Collins one though, um, I mean it hurts because as far as, as far as depth wise goes, you know, but it does hurt to lose a talented kid like him. Um, but at the same time, you know, with with um, Leary in there. You know, Leary is not 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 too much of a you know well it's not a drop off in my opinion, um, you know um, you know because he didn't lose his job um, because Collins was better they're they're like right neck and neck, but you know Col I mean Leary was injured last year so so you know but again all of our kids is um, filling in you know all all of our young guys is um, filling in wonderfully you know. Uh, Anthony Brown, you know, he made a couple pass breakups. Um, um, what is he? The Ala Collins kid. Malik Collins, Malik Collins. Um, he, you know, he, he's, he's doing wonderful that, you know, that the Cowboys are, you know, feel still feel comfortable keeping Tyron Crawford outside, you know. So, so you know, it's a, it's a, it's a great contribution on his part. You know, um, also, you know, Chaz Green, who is basically a rookie, you know, because, um, you know, he he did he was in the injury reserve last year, basically. And, you know, and then he's, you know, with Tyron Smith, you know, I was very nervous about him. But, in, but um, you know, because I do respect the 49ers defense a little bit more. Um, yeah, quick, quick one before I say that. Um, I felt bad for the 49ers. Uh, Losing Lavar Boneyman, I mean, you know, he he's been so much, you know, he's been through a lot, you know, the NFC Championship game losing that was a nasty, you know, a nasty injury, and then this one a non-contact, you know, it, it it's bad, you know, I feel bad for him, um, but yeah, you know, Chaz Green, I you know, like I said, I do respect the 49ers defense, and and he's been not not like world beater, but you know. He's been doing. He's been doing. Um, he's been doing his job. You know, and what, what what more can you ask for? You know, and then Dak. Um, you know, at first he looked kind of he looked kind of um, jittery at first. You know, he was missing a lot of guys high, but you know, he stayed the course. He stayed. He stayed the. He stayed the. Um, he stayed with his poise. 
what is God, you know, his cool, what is God, God in him here, you know, chose, you know, everybody, you know, like, like one of the questions was, you know, oh, you know, can he handle, can he handle the pressure? He answers that. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, he can't score touchdowns, even though he scored two rushing touchdowns. And now he has three in the last two weeks. So, you know, and going on with the crowd noise, you know, with the Cowboys fans, you know, the, the one to t -Will. That one, I mean, that one for a little while. When I, when I saw it, when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I jumped up, I, I, I went like that. But then at the same time, I heard all the screaming. I was like, wait, what, did he drop it? You know, like, I was kind of, I was kind of confused, you know, you know, and, you know, they, they stayed with it, you know, they stayed with it, you know, the big, you know, a momentum killer, you know, what stopped their momentum and kind of like, you know, got us, got us a chance to take back theirs, I mean, from them was, um, uh, you know, the, that's the sack by uh, Crawford. And, you know, like that's when he started doing, you know, Anthony Brown again, you know, young kid filling in for Skandrick. He had, he had a couple breakups, you know, so, you know, we, we are doing things without one person. We, everybody's contributing here and there, you know, um, Sean Lee doing his thing, um, you know, getting key, key block, key, I mean, key tackles in, in, in certain situations, you know, um, you know, this defense is not, is not giving up too much. And then, you know, for me, the, the biggest thing was, you know, you know, my, that's why I was so excited to see this game because, you know, for Dak as well too, but I want to see how much of an impact with the offensive line and all that, how much of an impact that Zeke can have. And, you know, Zeke was, uh, you know, they, you know, they, they, they was like trying to stop him. And then after a while, you could see him, you know, he was making jump, you know, that jump cut that he made for the first down. Um, when he started, you started to see more of the explosion with the patience, and then and then that that quick, quick um, switch of a dime, he he bursts through, and you know, you know, and and I, I can see more coming, you know, you know, and and that's and without Dez there, you know, that was one of the biggest losses, you know, Dez not being there. I forgot to mention. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna mention him, but you know, that's what I was gonna say. Like, you know, without Dez being there, you know, it's like, how how are we gonna do this and. Now I was gonna put that on there, like, okay, they did it without Dez. They did it without Dez, and you know, um, you know now. They and, and yes, I know it's the 49er. I know they're kind of in a rebuilding mode, but at the same time, you know, like everybody's saying, like, oh, you don't have Dez, you don't have Romo, you don't have Tyron, you don't have Skandrick, you know, you don't have Collins. You know what happens to your offensive line, and you know everybody did their job. And then Zeke was Zeke was putting things out there like, man, he's busting off some big runs. What gonna happen when Dez is there now? You know, now now we're putting tape out there like, ooh, it's a pick a poison thing, you know. And Dak is this continuing, this doing his job, you know. So, so you know that that's the that's the biggest thing for me. And you know, finally, um, the guy, you know, a couple guys that you know we was counting out, you know. Um, First, let me go to Wilcox. He seems to have like that one thing, like you know, that one play. He saves it a game. You know, last week was that huge hit on the fumble. Um, this week, this week is that. Um, this week was that 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 um, pass defense, and you know, he he you know like we rag on him and all that, but you know like that's why that's why i say no matter who we draft no, no matter who we draft and all that i'll support him until we until there's no more him in the on the team i'm gonna support him all through that you know you know i do i get frustrated with them i'm not gonna lie no yeah i do get frustrated with them but at the same time you know i'm gonna show respect you know and i'm not gonna keep on screaming off with his head kind of thing you know i you know I, i'm gonna show as much support as i can um you know, then finally Mo, you know, everybody's like, oh, he's a, he, he's one of the biggest. I remember a couple of years ago, if you listen to Cowboys.com, Talking Cowboys or Cowboys Break, people signing him off as the worst draft of all times. You know, you know, the, the worst draft pick of all time, the worst bust of all time. And I was, and you know, for me personally, I was like, man, this kid, this, this cannot stay healthy. That was my biggest thing to him. And I was saying, what a shame. You know, that was my, my, my honest opinion about it. It was just, what a shame. You know, and then last year, he kind of, he started gaining confidence. 
And then this year, you know, he, he's trying to make his statement like, you know, I'm here now, you know. And that interception, I mean, you know, making play on the ball, you know, um, going quickly to that, you know, Dak almost makes his mistake. You know, everybody's waiting for when he's going to throw his first interception. They didn't capitalize. Well, Gabbard, he throws a bad pass, Mo capitalized. And then he gets a uh, tackle for a loss, you know, which kind of set up the whole thing of that, you know, that fourth and six and, you know, I mean, you know, he was, he, he was relentless. He just went, came back, you know, and actually wasn't his guy, you know, and then, you know, came back, made the tackle and, you know, sealed the game. So, you know, this week is one, probably the biggest challenge as far as, look like we're getting some guys back. Um, I don't know about Desti yet, but, you know, we're getting D-Lo, we're getting Tyron, we're getting, you know, we're getting Skandrick all back. So, you know, it's a, but it is another big test. It's one of the toughest defenses we want, we're going to face, you know. So, you know, from top to bottom, they're, they're a solid, they're a solid proven defense, you know. But I got to say, I, you know, I, you know, like, I'm loving that we're winning as a team. You know, that's, that's my biggest thing. We're winning as a team, you know. So, hey. What can you say next week, this coming week, Cincinnati? All right. Mahalo for watching. Paniolo, boys. Go Cowboys.